This oh. right here is Carco and Carney. Everything good? I hope. Okay. I, 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 damn it. There we go. I'm not going to Leave it to Matt. Sorry. What, what's the matter? Are you... No, I, I moved the clamp. Now I need duct tape, too. Oh, All right. Be, be, be careful with I'm the clamps. Uh, I'm doc, Dr. Daryl Wilson, a friend who is on <laughs> the, the brand new compilation we're going to talk about with the bow weevils. Dr. Daryl Wilson, last time he was in this car, he broke one of those clamps. <laughs> I saw that. He, he, he tried to move it, and he's like, are these expensive? I'm like, 50 bucks. <laughs> so be careful. Please. Uh, th- right, I'm ready. <laughs> this is Carcon Carney. I'm James Van Ostel. This episode is sponsored by Alex Ross Art. Alex Ross is arguably, verifiably, one of the greatest artists in the history of comics and graphic novels. His photorealistic work, his paintings are untouched, unparalleled. They're phenomenal. And if you're going to San Diego Comic Con, ground zero for all things pop culture and comics in San Diego in the month of July, Alex Ross Art will be there, booth 2415, and any time Alex Ross Art is at a con, it's a big deal, it's a must visit, it's a must stop by, get the phone out, take some pictures, alexrossart.com at the San Diego Comic Con, or of course you can visit Alex Ross Art 24-7, alexrossart.com. I always want to go to San Diego. Right. That's the Actually, best Comic Con in the country. Well, yeah, right. it, it's it's the big one for yeah, sure. Absolutely. And I was in San Diego for work in September. The thing about San Diego, it's supernaturally the the weather is supernatural. It's the same weather every day. It is Groundhog Day. Every day it's seventy five degrees and sunny. There are no clouds. That's just the way it is. And then at night it's hoodie weather and it's perfect hoodie weather. It doesn't change. It's unnatural. It's it. it it doesn't make sense. It's awesome, but it's weird at the same time. For us in the Midwest, I mean, today we're recording this on Sunday the 25th. <laughs> uh, we went through at least three of the four seasons right. today. We, we for sure went through summer. We went through spring. And it, right now it's fall. Yeah. We're right. only in Chicago. Uh-huh. So this, when I, when I think about San Diego, it's very different from what we experience here. Uh, So I've got a full car. I've got a a stacked lineup for this particular episode, episode 851 or 851, if you want to keep it local. Uh, In the back seat, well, let's start with the front seat. In the front seat, I have Kurt. Kurt of the usuals. Hey there. Uh, Kurt, who, along with Pat in the back seat, put together Godspeed, a tribute to Pierre Kezzi of Naked Ray Gun fame, Peg Boy, uh, really an iconic person. In, Absolutely. in the history of punk rock, certainly in the history of Chicago punk rock. July 28th, 2023, digitally and vinyl, and on vinyl, Godspeed, a tribute uh, to Pierre comes out. It'll be widely available. 100% of the profits will go to Pierre's family. We'll talk about that. We'll talk more to you guys in a second. Also in the backseat, this is a returning guest. Uh, this is very exciting. He, he's getting all, all fired up here. It's Matt Habib. He is the owner of the recently opened, the, the brand new Rogue's Corner in Elgin, which we're sitting outside of, 109 East Highland in Elgin. Uh, it is a steampunk-themed pizzeria, uh, all kinds of pizza, uh, and we're going to be served pizza as we're sitting here talking about Naked Ray Gun and this compilation. I cannot wait to talk about your place. I cannot wait to eat your food because I, I know you from Legit Dogs Nice. Yes which we did an episode around and the food there was ridiculously great well thank you very much and uh you know i, I always like to set the bar low because you don't know what's going to happen for all i know we're going to be sitting out here and there's going to be a fire and it's going to make for a great podcast uh and as we're recording this I, i'm pretty sure your restaurant is the only place open downtown on a sunday night that I don't know, but I can tell you we certainly are the only steampunk place in, at, at the very least, the city, if not Kane County. I can't think of anything that's open like this. So maybe I just like the word punk. I don't know. I, I think we all like the word punk. I, I think these guys right here like the yeah, word punk. For sure. Absolutely. All right, so let's let's get right into it. Godspeed, a tribute to Pierre Kesdi. Uh, 100% of the profits go to Pierre's family. Who was Pierre, for those who don't know? Well... 
Pierre was the, well, as most people probably mainly know him, uh, the bass player for Naked Ray Gun, which is, you know, Chicago, to me, Chicago's iconic punk rock band, for sure. Uh, he was in other bands as well, but, um, you know, for me, I mainly know him as Naked Ray Gun's bass player. And so he passed a few years ago. He did. And you made the decision last year, this year, to do this? Uh, it was last year, um, early last year, if not the end of the, the year prior. We, right, 20, Pat? Really. Yeah, we kind of talked about it. Um, and, you know, just as things, you know, proceeded through COVID and, you know, me and Pat, uh, we actually... Uh, I have a business together, so we're business partners too, and we had some time on our hands, and we built a studio, and we were doing some things, and talked about starting a record label, and then, you know, with the uh, passing of Pierre, uh, just thought about doing a comp record, you know, for a benefit, and um, wanted to make it a really, you know, as badass as we could, basically, um, raise a bunch of money, and donate it to his family, so finally came to fruition and it's right around the corner let me ask this up front because this is a question people will ask all the money goes to his family what does that money go toward um basically it's it's going just directly to heather and the kids um to help them however they need need it and to see fit you know um mortgage payments or bills general living um, just, uh, you know, a small token, hopefully of what we, you know, can help contribute with in his absence to help his family, you know, go on. So again, July 28th is when this comp comes out. It'll be on digital, of course, on vinyl, uh, which I, I'm, thank you for doing that. Yep. Um, I want to talk about the bands, the artists who agreed to participate, which it's a naked ray gun tribute. Who wouldn't want to participate? Uh, but your bands, you're, you're both in bands and both, both of you contributed. So let's start there since I have two musicians in the car. Okay. Okay. Let's start with the usuals. Uh, we chose, uh, soldiers requiem. Um, it's a song that we actually have performed live a couple times. Uh, and, uh, Jeff sang with us, uh, Jeff Pizzotti of naked ray. Yep. Jeff Pizzotti of naked ray gun. Uh, sang it live with us at a show, um, and actually at a party uh, that that he came to once as well. So uh, we just thought that that was a fitting song. Plus, it's it's uh, you know collectively it's one of the our favorite songs of of my band members. So um, we just felt that was a good one to do, and we picked that. Let's talk about Great Trash Aliens. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so we picked uh, Fever Island, and. Um we're we like hooks right so fever island is like a really hooky song to us and it's uh it's really cool tune and and it's one of those things like that was the first song i ever heard got together with the band and we you know uh had two or three songs that we wanted to do and then um you know we decided on this one so let's dig a little deeper into what ray gun means to you guys i mean you, you've covered them like what was your first exposure like when did you first discover the band? uh in 88 i saw them at uh, a cubby bear show one of the earlier all age ones um i was in high school and a friend of mine was like hey let's go check out this band um i've been to some local shows here in elgin uh uh, number one soul and some of the older places like that that aren't around had shows but i'd never really been to a a big you know show and a friend of mine was like hey let's go to this show i got tickets and uh we went there his sister dropped us off and uh i was blown away i, I was it was amazing I, I i don't know how else to describe it i was just hooked um instant ray gun fan and always been a fan ever ever since i mean it, it actually um after seeing you know jeff sing and hearing the band and and just seeing you know the way they were on stage with each other and all that i just i wanted to be in a band and shortly after that i started a band and uh you know there we go that's been a they've been a big huge inspiration to me uh my whole life so Pat, was it the same for you? Like, did you hear hear Ray Gun, Naked Ray Gun, and decide I want to start a band? So it was. Um, I've been in three or four different bands. Um, 
since 98. So um, heard Ray Gun back in the day. Like I said, Fever Island is a song that I had heard first mm-hmm. back in 91 and uh, dating myself, but that's when I graduated high school. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it was kind of like one of those things where it's like um, they're a staple in Chicago, right? Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like... Uh, how do I describe it? Um, again, I'm going to go back to the hooks, right? Because I'm a hook. I like hooks. I'm a hooky guy, and that's my thing. And and it was always every song always had some kind of a cool hook in it, mm-hmm. and that's what speaks to me when I listen to music. You know, everybody's got their thing of what speaks to them. Hooks are my thing. So, um, but they've always been a staple, and that was kind of like, hey, this is what you want to try to do or become and so i've always tried to put hooks in my music if that makes sense so matt habib of rogues corner yes i'm going to put you on the spot are you a ray gun fan i mean you're here as the restaurateur (laughs) playing host to us today i I have had the honor to be able to tell jeff that honest to god this band has literally saved my life saved your life oh yeah so i can't i came from a very musically inclined family but it was at that weird time where, you know, you had like, uh, oh, God, I don't know. You had like Madonna and Boy George, and you had Tears for Fears, right? And, you know, Wang Chung on the radio constantly. But then I had my brother who, you know, was in that, you know, heavy metal, you know, thrash metal band, you know? And I was like, I didn't really fit into... Metallica. I didn't really fit into whatever was, you know, wh- whatever this pop was playing on on radio. And then, honestly, uh, th- so ironically enough, the first um, album that I heard by them was Raygun, Naked Raygun, uh-huh. and right. that it was. I heard it, and it was just like, oh, it's I'm home, you know. Like, and there, there is. I, I worked my way back through their catalog and w- was just absolutely you know went back to uh i mean which jesus just went back through everything and uh even now um i always i always call it oh man what is that it's it's uh the album with treason on there with the the, and it's it's, i always call it treason but it's not treason what is understand understand right and um you know even even at legit i had that big poster of that dude because that was into this one of these days I'm gonna get that tattoo. I'm gonna get that tattoo when I find somebody who is, uh, you know, uh, can can handle that thing. One of the things that really excited me about Reagan when I first heard them was, wow, they're a great band. But holy shit, these guys are from Chicago. Like yeah. there's a sense of like, like civic pride, like proprietary yep. right. ownership. Right. Like right, that's our band. Yeah, and they, they're that. So, just just distinct sound, so distinct. And just that perfect balance, like so, lyrically, right? Um, uh, just even, you know, the, just it's like just that perfect. Like I'm, I'm a chef, right? Just that perfect amount of angst and anger, but still <laughs> tongue in cheek. Kurt and Pat, listening to Matt talk, I mean, that's the level of enthusiasm for this band. That's a perfect so, example of a Ray Gun fan above and beyond. Right? Yeah, the, the I mean, perfect example of someone who would love to hear absolutely. this compilation you put together. Like it, it, it's probably decades overdue, honestly. Yes. Yeah. yeah, think how many spe- uh, decades they span. Right. Well, exactly. Know? Yeah. I mean, it's so. Let's talk a little bit about it because looking at this list of artists, you have Peg Boy doing Vanilla Blue, um, the Methadones during Surf Combat, which is I, I'm sure going to be a blistering whatever it is, 75 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Every song on this thing is really awesome. <laughs> Everybody did a real good job. Face to yep. face is on this. Yep. Uh Bull Weevils who I mean who we just mentioned. Uh Josh Caterer of the aforementioned Smoking Popes is on this. The Broke Downs, former Carco Carnet guest. Swinging Utters, Jay Robbins is on this. Yep. Uh, that's, hot, that's hot the single that was released first. Jay Robbins yep. doing Got Hurt, Hot Water Music doing Wonder Beer. Yep. I mean, this is a great compilation. I mean, the, the, you got you got some A-list. There's Death in Memphis doing tr- the uh, the song Treason, which we previously mentioned. Which I mean, that's just I mean, it's probably their one of their biggest songs, but still as good as it gets. Yeah, yeah. From the Understand album, um, how did you track? How, 
th- this doesn't seem like an easy thing to put together. No. <laughs> it, uh, it, the, well, hence the time it took. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, you know, I had a lot of contacts. Um, I had help with a few of the contacts for some of these bands. Um, some of them are contacts that I, I had. Uh, it's a lot of emails, you know, reaching out, you know, is this something you think you could do? Would you have time to do that in between touring to get a song recorded, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, um, we, we pushed it a couple times. Uh, you know, I tried to set, uh, well, we tried to set, you know, a deadline to have songs submitted, but it's like... <laughs> that didn't work. A few times it didn't work, <laughs> no. but, you know, I, I didn't want to tell, you know, some of those A-listers, like, that eh, you didn't make it, sorry. Right. You know what I mean? So, um, we we'll just kind of, you. <laughs> kind, of, kind of pushed it along, but um, yeah. for the most part, uh, everybody that I had asked um, was in, you know, um, and uh, there was a couple other bands that really wanted to... Um, but for whatever reasons, couldn't. Mm-hmm. Um, There's enough. Songs I guess we won't get everyone. into that. But yeah. uh, there was. Uh, they were busy. You know. Were yeah. Busy. But but either way, um, this whole record is uh, a <laughs> a labor of love. I mean, I, I I you know I hate to use those words and sound cliche, but n- nobody could even understand other than my wife uh, the hours that I have spent on sure. phone calls, emails. Um, you know, texting, you know, Sunday nights, uh, you know, at the dinner table, like mm-hmm. just all kinds of things, you know, where it's like, oh, oh, I just got a, you know, a text from Chris Waller. I can't, no, I'm not texting him back. Sorry, dear. I'm you sure. Know, it's like, <laughs> uh, so it's like, you know, stuff like that. Um, but uh, really happy about how it came together. Um, of course, the vinyl uh, printing, uh, pressing is taking a little bit of time here but um you know we're finally around that corner we wanted to wait to even announce it and do any kind of pre-order till it was almost to us because i didn't one thing we didn't want to do um and i'm not you know knocking anyone uh, that does this kind of thing but we didn't want to do a pre-order and have the record come out in a year you mm-hmm. know what i mean i mean we thought about it we had the bands we had everything but it's like, eh, let's just wait, you know, till till it's like on yeah. its way to us. Yep. So we've been sitting on it, and here we are. <laughs> I guess <laughs> to be uh, here we go. Here comes here yeah, comes I pizza. Rice I hope this is etiquette. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll here we go. Like, Kurt wants a fork. Oh, they just said. Here, just show, here, show. Uh, you, uh, okay. uh, Can you say hi? Oh, hi everybody. <laughs> Hello. Don't mind me. This is that's my beautiful wife. That's Matt's wife. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. We've okay. got this. Do we each Roller have pieces? Cheese. Right. Uh, Thank you so much. There's one more comment. How is that oh, possible? Oh, shit. How is that possible? I'm sorry. Oh. Matt's got his kids working in the back. Yeah, if I would have known that I could have had free labor like this, I would have had more kids. Currently, the jalapeno oil is burning. I told him not to touch his eyes. <laughs> and wash him before you go to the bathroom. Can I bring a signature... Italian soda as well. But it's not, alcohol It's not free. my gig. Talk okay, to the talk will. to the boss here. Yeah. Sure, that'd be lovely. <laughs> Thank you. She is but so nice. She's all right. Yeah, I'm she's put, got a, I'm she's put got a horrible right choice in men. Right, all right, all right. For you fellas. Horrible choice in men. Yes. Oh look, there's my son. My God, it really is a family affair. It really is. I'm going to this one here. Hey, so. make Hello. sure you make sure you wash your hands before you go to the bathroom. Right. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. Been there. Thanks, Gabe. All right. So now I'm just going to hold these for the rest of the podcast. I'm holding two plates. This is it. Hey, I'll hold one. You want me to hold one? Should we, I, I should we uh, uh, let Matt tell us what they are? That, that, that's that's where <laughs> oh, I was yeah, going Matt. next. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So here we Sorry. go. We're going to start from... Let's start Matt. with what, what's right okay. here because I've got so, my oh, camera right here. I lied. Who's first? Okay, James. All right. So okay. I have no idea what that is. Oh, oh that is like, the... It looks like beef and so jardinera that is called Yeah, that is called the pipe and wrench. That is homemade Italian beef that we do. We do dry brine it for a couple of days. Homemade jardinera, homemade Italian beef. Homemade jardinera. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything's fresh, my friend. I love it. Um, I mean, we do everything we can from scratch. Um, Italian sausage oh. and, uh, you know, our homemade uh, pizza sauce. Well, I have bad news for the rest of you. You're not getting any of this. Uh, <laughs> this right, what is, this what does Kurt have? All right, this is called the Master Arms. It is barbacoa pizza. Ooh. So it is barbacoa brisket, and then it has a barbacoa sauce instead of pizza sauce. Oh. Um, it has corn. 
It has black beans, then it has a chipotle and red bell pepper aioli, along Damn. with cilantro. Who knew on a pizza? That I looks yeah. that looks masterful. That one's a spicy one, so I like spicier how we than the one with the jardinier. Yes, so the jardinier, <laughs> I do not make super spicy. If you want to add red pepper flakes, you go for it. Are right, what are we looking at here? All right, no. here we have the Elizabeth Songbird. This is caramelized apple, caramelized pear, caramelized onions, along with goat cheese, fig balsamic, honey, and arugula. Damn. It's a vegetable. Damn. <laughs> and then last but not least, this is called the jury rig. All right, here we go. <laughs> This is the this is the winter one that we're doing in July for some reason or June. Um, this is macaroni and cheese. No homemade macaroni and cheese with sloppy Joe. Yes, oh, fucking angry. yeah. Oh, can I swear on this thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then we, <laughs> the FFA, okay. yeah, our um or FCC, and then um. <laughs> you say the FAA? Yeah, yeah. FFA. <laughs> Come fly with me. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, all right. So we have Sloppy Joe, homemade mac and cheese, homemade Sloppy Joe, our pizza sauce, mozzarella, and then Parmesan. Damn. Yeah. So this was, there's nothing healthy here, boys. Nothing. nothing. That's why we come here. Okay. I am late to life on the whole Italian Good beef on pizza. Wait, you got it? Okay. I'm sorry. What was that? I am late to life in discovering how great Italian beef is on pizza. Oh, oh yeah. Me too. Oh, dude. Let's, don't feel bad. I've never had it on a pizza once until we made it and i thought i was like reinventing the wheel and they were like dude this is like pretty much a staple however where we do reinvent the, i'm pretty i'm pretty sure i have cheese just hanging off of my face right now oh, yeah cheese? <laughs> no not yet. all right not that's, yet that's why people watch so yeah. <laughs> i'm not shy so um but the thing that we do do different is the fact that we actually make the italian beef we make the jardinero we make the 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 you know sausage and everything from scratch. So. This is delicious. This Thank is you. legitimately delicious. Thank you very much. You know, right. can, I, can I say something about Kurt really quick? Oh no! About the whole no no okay. <laughs> oh no. Um, you know because you you were asking him about um, you know how hard was it to put this you know album mm -hmm. together and get all these guys together. So one thing that I've learned from Kurt, and you know this is why he's a friend and this is why. I love partnering him with him when we do shows. Like Kurt's a fan, like first and right. foremost, right? So it's not just some promoter going out there, you know. And you know, it, it you know, it, it's you, these bands, right? They know him because he's a fan, mm -hmm. right? And that's even more of a, of a testament to this album too, and it and you know to the legacy of the band and to Pierre, right? It's it's not, you know, just about the money, right? That the family will get, what have you. It's about legacy. How many people can say that there is a album, you know, made by all of these great bands that is just celebrating the life and legacy and times that is, you know, Naked Ray Gun and band members. So. I, I agree. I well, think so, we're all here yeah. because we're fans. Yeah. Right. We, we are in the music business or music business adjacent because we love music. I never knew Pierre. I mean, I met him, but I never knew him. What do you think he would say to this effort? Um, I think he'd be grateful. Um, you know, I mean, I, I've, uh, you know, met him several times in social settings hung out with him a little bit here and there. Um, you know, um, a few years back, uh, Pat and I actually did some work on their house um, and uh, got to know him w way more on a personal level, I think, rather than just in the social setting. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, that's, that's, that may have even been the first time you've ever met that's him, That's the right? first time I appear, yep. But... Um, you know, I had met him before, you know, at shows and social settings, like I said, but, but there at his house, um, you know, it was definitely more on a personal level and, and, uh, he was, he, I just realized he was a much cooler dude than I even thought he was. And, um, I think, you know, I know he cared a lot, um, you know, for his family, I've, you know, most of us do obviously, but. I mean, I think, uh, you know, as humble 
as humbled as he may have to be if he knew we were doing something like this, I think he'd be okay with it, I guess, you know. I, I'd like to think he'd be okay with it. I, I, I would like to think that he, you know, I don't want to think he wouldn't be. Right. <laughs> for sure. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know so again, what to say. July 28th is the date where it comes out on digital and vinyl? Yep. And people can pre-order now. Where can people pre-order this? Um, they can pre-order um, at um, Big Minnow Records dot big cartel dot com um okay. we have um the vinyl record there now let me throw this in there too because i know it's a little it, it, we have it at 45 dollars. okay it's it's on the higher end for a record but keep in mind um aside from the whole this is a benefit and donation thing this is a 180 gram vinyl it's got, you know, a, we, we went with the premium upgraded sleeve, upgraded inks. I mean, this is a primo record. So it's not like just some, you know, 120 gram flimsy BS black and white album, you know? I mean, uh, there's, a, you know, a lot of money went into making a very sure. nice record for a well deserving band and people. It's, and not, fans. Cheap to, it's not cheap to do a half ass job. No, with, with a record, but to do it, if no. you're going full ass, it costs a lot of money, right? So, and this is a full ass project. Yeah, it absolutely. really is. I mean, that's that, and and you know, when me and Pat were talking about it, you know, it's like okay, we can do this, you know, for this much, or you know, if we spend, you know, this much, it's just going to be that much nicer. And now's the time to do that, right? Because it's like uh, it's you know, you got to make these decisions, so. Uh, so again, that's that's the album that's coming out, and it's the Naked Ray Gun tribute compilation, Godspeed, a tribute to Pierre Kesdi. Uh, July twenty eighth is when you can have it on digital and vinyl. As we're recording this, we are outside Rogue's Corner, one hundred nine East Highland Avenue in Elgin. Matt Habib, the owner, is in the back seat. I just tried the pipe and wrench, the Italian beef sausage jardinera. It was awesome. I could I could I could go. I, that could be the only thing I eat. And I'd be fine with that. But I'm t I'm dying to eat this. Like middle school lunch gone awry. <laughs> lunch lady special. Once, once again, only in the Midwest. Only in the Midwest this, could right? you have mac and cheese and sloppy Joe on the same goddamn pizza. <laughs> in 50 degree weather in the middle of June. Here we go. And <laughs> now I'm going to spill this all over myself on camera. <laughs> that is wrong. It is wrong, but it's so right. <laughs> it's absolutely wrong. <laughs> All the, everything, so we've actually been here a few times. Um, everything I've had from here is really freaking good. Mm -hmm. I paid him um, to say that. And he has, <laughs> uh, no. You left me on, one, I, tell him about the one star you left me. <laughs> wow, that was a joke. No, I'm kidding. I didn't leave him one star. Um. I, uh, he, he actually has, uh, sandwiches and stuff too. All that's mm -hmm. homemade as well. Um, and like I, the meatball sandwich, is, I mean, oh man, it's so freaking good. Matt, your balls are good. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> like we've, that, we've had a few meatball. different, a few different pizzas and <laughs> some of the sandwiches. Um, definitely, definitely some good food for it, sure. Yeah. Homemade, the homemade Italian beef for homemade Italian beef sandwiches, dude. So giddy up well, yeah. as we're recording this there's a lot of social media outrage about a new york times recipe did you see that that got published for italian beef oh you know i saw something about that based on the success of the bear they showed a picture of the sandwich uh, it, it's basically like a pot roast sandwich it doesn't look a no, thing like a chicago beef. No, no it's not all right boys what do you think of the pizzas amazing amazing I mean, yeah. let me try this one i uh i actually haven't had that italian beef one before i want it's one i wanted to try and it's definitely good, so I'm it, glad. I'm glad we ordered one to go. For here's a, here's a little home. here's a little behind the scenes for Curdy Bear here. Curdy Bear is a real picky eater. This one, he is really picky. And uh, let me is tell you, true? so a little bit. Oh, yeah. when he likes something, oh my god, I'm giddy like you wouldn't believe. Like oh my god, I found something. Like, you, like you've made a breakthrough. Likes. Yes. Right, <laughs> we we finally have evolved beyond chicken fingers. All right, Matt, what was Come the on, one? Uh, <laughs> what was the one you wanted me to try? Was it oh, the, the, the Elizabeth cheese? Songbird. This is by far our best seller. If you can, so this one's light. So again, it's this got, is the one with the apple and the 
Yes, the caramelized apple. And the goat cheese. Caramelized pears. Yeah, goat Wait, cheese. Wait, are you guys afraid of eating the, the apple and the goat cheese? Didn't you try this? Come I on, had Kurt. that one before. Oh, you like yeah. it? Yeah, it was one star. It turned this is sweet. delicious. The, the sweetness on this is right on. Yeah, everybody likes that one. I, 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 I'm and honestly surprised. Neapolitan crust. Some of these are on regular Chicago crust, and that one's a Neapolitan crust. It is a more traditional uh, high gluten, double zero flour that. Um, it's more crackery. Yes. Well, maybe. I guess that's a good way to say it. That one. That for, one for a layman confusion. who doesn't work in the kitchen. Yeah, it's that, more, more crackery. That that one lays confusion because everybody was like, well, but a cracker crust is supposed to be a Chicago pizza. You are correct. However, crunchy and a little bit more pull with that gluten. I'm honestly be. surprised this is your best seller. It seems like it would be more like esoteric on the menu. Yeah, none of this makes sense to me. All right, so to recap, oh, by the way, the, the Italian sodas are really good too. Oh, those, oh, those are all my wife. So, and give, and I, I also want to say that, you know, first of all, once again, I want to say my wife has got horrible taste in men. <laughs> um, she is great at, she does not need to be here with this little journey with me. She has her own far more successful business. Um, but the steampunk idea was 100% her idea. And I am just saying that uh, for disclaimer purposes. So if we ever end up in court, <laughs> I can say, Your Honor, I always did give credit where credit was due. Um, I, and I, I don't want this podcast being used as evidence. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, this is the only reason I'm here. Because so that and the fact that I, I would just say right now, she can have the kids. It's fine. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I, look, I love them. I'm just saying I don't want to take care of them. So we have. She does, she Unless does they're working really, in the kitchen. <laughs> am, am I editing this? <laughs> like, <laughs> Um, so she does, she did a great job with the cocktails in the front of the house and she really did. She really was the linchpin of the concept of, you know, it was like, how do we bring steampunk in with this Victorian style? Cause again, this building is from 1880. That's so cool. How do you bring this Victorian style, not a straight angle in this place, <laughs> right. right in and evolve it <laughs> into the modern day. And it was like, she's like steampunk. Right, it still retains that historical feel, but we can have a little fun with modernizing it. And man, was she not wrong! I love that woman, smart as a whip. That one, but still horrible taste. Of and again, the uh, the the restaurant is Rogues Corner, <laughs> one hundred and nine East Highland. Uh, back to the album. This is just. I'm going to read the artist one more time on Godspeed, a tribute to Pierre Kedzie. So great. It's lightning in a bottle, my friend. Lightning in a bottle. Hot Water Music, The Usuals, Jay Robbins, Peg Boy, Swing and Utters, Death in Memphis, The Methadones, Face to Face, Gray Trash Aliens, The Bull Weevils, The Turtles, that's Turtles with a D, Josh Caterer, Stress Dreams, and The Broke Downs. That's an album, my friends. Yep. Mm -hmm. You did it. All right, July 28th is when it's Streets. When it drops, yep, yep. Uh, uh, digital and vinyl on July 28th, 100% of the profits go to Pierre's family. Uh, I know this is no small effort on your part. Congratulations on getting it to the finish line. Thank you. That's got to feel pretty great. Yes. And uh, Matt, thank you for the food and the That's deliciousness. Uh, again, we're in Elgin. This is a, a fantastic place to stop. It's mere minutes from 90 easy to get to one block from the train station don't mean oh. to interrupt oh no that's helpful but yeah because you know people need to come out from the city to free, check out a really cool restaurant free far, parking at the huge parking lot right? across if the street. Drive, how far are we from the uh, from the riverboat minutes uh minutes close enough to stumble. i can see the riverboat yeah, yeah close, minutes. <laughs> close enough to stumble mm -hmm. well guys thank you so much thanks man this was awesome yeah thanks for doing this yeah thanks for helping us out james peace appreciate it man